Ratul and Priya went on a holiday in Norway. On a chilling morning, they went to a frozen lake for ice fishing. Ratul was mesmerized to see that despite the frozen surface, fishes were still swimming inside the lake. He looked at Priya with amazement and curiosity. But before he could ask her anything, Priya showed him the plastic bottle. The bottle was filled with water to its capacity when they left home. But to Ratul's amazement, the bottle was busted. He is now clueless. And on top of that, Priya told him something that blew his mind. She said, the lake freezes only on the surface and the plastic bottle full of water gets busted. But because of the same reason, just one phenomenon results in the fishes being saved in the frozen lake and bursting of the water bottle. Isn't it amazing? You know that objects contract on cooling and expand on heating, right? Priya continued. But water is an exception to that rule. When water freezes below 4 degrees Celsius, it expands. This is an anomaly. Hence, this is also called anomalous behavior of water. Look at the lake. The water on the surface cools down and freezes. But while cooling, it expands. As a result, its density decreases. Because of lower density, ice floats on the water and the water of higher density remains below. This keeps the lake warmer so the fishes can not only survive in the lake but also swim in the water. Now Ratul got the crux of it. So he wanted to explain the bursting of the bottle. He chipped in. Similarly, the water in the bottle cools down and when it is frozen, it expands. But there is no space for water to expand because the bottle is filled till the rim. So the freezing water exerts enormous pressure on the bottle and that causes the bursting of the bottle. And now you know why I was telling you not to fill the bottle. Priya patted Ratul's head. Knowing and understanding of physics is not enough. Our understanding must make us wise about what to do and what not to do. Ratul noted in his diary that knowledge of physics becomes significant only when we use it in real life. He understood the point. Did you get that too? Alright then, that's all for today. See you next time.